So we're going to look at section 1.2 of Zybooks, our first program. So again, we've gone into the introduction and we've clicked on 1.2, our first program, and we're going to look at that. And this shows a little program here that we're going to look at. Um, so some nice uh, descriptions of this program that I'm just going to walk you quickly through, but you should be reading through these to get a little more details uh, from the text directly. Uh, our program has a class and a main routine and we're going to talk more about those later on but for right now we're just going to leave those kind of be so every program is going to have a class with some name on it and then a main routine with again some public stack voids words before it and um, some what we'll call later on parameters afterwards we also are going to look at these brackets so there's these brackets now they're not necessarily parentheses there's uh, what I call squiggly brackets before one starts here and ends here another one starts here and ends here uh, so these form uh, kind of denote portions of our program uh, to be included here uh, we have a declaration of a variable here and again we'll talk more about variables and declarations here but we have we say an integer and we have a variable so we call this a variable because it's uh, it stores a location in memory so here we have a little view of memory and we give that some section of memory a name and we're going to call it wage and then we can store values in memory so the value of 20 is going to be stored in memory and we're going to call that memory location wage um, then there's a couple print statements uh, Java requires you to say system.out.print or system.out.println. If you print something, it goes on a line and stays, the cursor stays on that line. So the next print statement prints out on that same line. If you say print line, it prints something out and then the cursor goes to the next line. So the next print statement will be on the next line. Uh, we talk about these lines of code or these statements. Every line of code, or I mean every statement, uh, sometimes we'll see longer statements than one line, but every statement here ends in a semicolon. So semicolons, just like you end a uh, sentence with a period, here we end each uh, sent, uh, statement with a semicolon. Uh, so again, it kind of talks about that here. Um, talks a little bit about variables in that memory locations here in the print statements. Now this uh, code is sent to a compiler. Uh, here we have a built-in compiler in our web page, but we'll also be using the BlueJ uh, environment and the Java compiler on our machines, and we'll be seeing that in a separate video. But I can run this program. Uh, when I run this program, it executes each of these statements. So it does this wage, stores 20 out in memory and labels it wage. Um, it'll then print out um, the this if salary is it'll print that out and notice the cursor will stay on that line so that it'll then print this out it's going to do this calculation so wage is 20 and then it's going to multiply that by 40 and then that result by 50 and it gets for forty thousand dollars as your annual wage or salary and then finally it gets to the return statement and then that means the program is done in this case. Um, so you can walk through that simulation uh, and see that. Um, now there's a couple other activities we want you to work on. Uh, here is a program we want you to run and just see that the variables can change. So if I run this, it just runs it very fast. It compiles it and then runs it and it prints out salary is, salary is, and then does this calculation wage times 40 times 50 and prints out 40,000. But you can now go in and change this, change the wage to something else. So let's say I earn a hundred dollars an hour don't I wish now when I run this my salary is two hundred thousand dollars a year so again you can change this to some other value they suggest 35 but you can put any value you want in there for your wage and just see what it prints out uh, there's some solution so we're gonna check if you how carefully you read and listen to this so you can go through these statements and um, drag these terms down in uh, different areas. So uh, textual representation of a program, you might think that's a statement, drag that there. And there's a little X mean up, oh, that's wrong. So yeah, maybe if I look up there, I'll see, oh, that's code and then that's right. So again, uh, complete this set of exercises 
And then there's one more challenge activity if you want to try it out. This isn't too bad. Uh, and it gives you a good experience for uh, editing code. So here, I can't edit all this program, just lines 4, 5, and 6 I can type things into here. Uh, in lines 4, 5, and 6 I can see those white. So I'm supposed to enter some statements here. Um, it already prints out it does a print line of wage times 40 times 50 and I want it to say annual pay is 40,000 and when I run this uh, it just says uh, your output is just 40,000 and I want it to say the annual pay is 40,000 so I somehow have to have it print this out also but I can't change that statement directly I can only change statements above it so that's a little bit of a challenge I can go up here and look at this program up here to get some ideas here I printed out the salary is and then I printed out the wage so I can I'm gonna take that and copy it down here and put it in here salary is and now I'm gonna run it see if I'm getting closer so uh, expected output is annual pay is 40,000 and my output is salary is 40,000 so that's still not right somehow I got to change it so it says exactly what it says here uh, so I get a little X there so again you can try this out see if you can figure out the right solution to this so that's your introduction to your first program in Zybooks